Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna conduct a basic financial statement analysis of Amazon stock. Now, Amazon stock, I recently upgraded to my list of top stocks to buy for 2024. And as we dig through this financial statement, you're gonna start to see the reasons why I've upgraded Amazon stock. There's a lot of good things happening inside of Amazon that is attractive for investors. And we're gonna see that in this video. So let's jump right into it. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. Okay, so let's start with Amazon's explanation of its cash flow. So every company has three sources of cash flow that it must highlight. Operating activities, investing activities, and financing activities. As an investor, you want to see a company generating cash from operating activities. Why? Well, think of yourself, your personal finances. You have three sources of cash flow. You can generate money from your job or business. You can create cash flow by borrowing money, right? When you borrow money, cash comes in. Or you can create cash flow by selling your things, right? That creates cash coming in. You can sell your car and cash comes back to you. Well, out of those three sources, which is the most attractive? making money from your business or job, right? That's the most sustainable. That's the one that adds value, right? And you're not really adding value when you sell your car to get cash, right? You're just trading one asset for another. And so similar with companies, you wanna see them generating cash flow from operating activities. And that's precisely what we see from Amazon and what I've highlighted here to begin with. Operating activities, this is for the three months ended September 30th, the nine months ended September 30th, and the 12 months ended September 30th. So progressively increasing the time span we're comparing. So in the three months, Amazon's cash flow from operations increased to 21.2 billion, up from 11.4 billion. In the nine months, it increased to 14.4 billion, up from 17.5 million. And in the 12 months, it increased to 71.6 billion, up from 39.66 billion. So across the board, whether you compare the three, nine or 12 month periods, Amazon has significantly increased its cash flow from operations from an already robust level to an even stronger level. And we're gonna see a little more on the statements that there's more of this to come. Amazon expects more growth in cash flow going forward. So management says that the increase in operating cash flow for the trailing 12 months compared to the prior year period was due to an increase in net income. So out of all of the ways that you can increase cash flow from operations, the best way to increase the cash flow from operations or the best way in the eyes of investors is by increasing net income. There's other ways you can increase cash flow from operations, such as uh, let's say you have 100 units of inventory and you sell 20 units of inventory and you don't replace those 20 units in your inventory. Now you've lowered your inventory level and you've increased your cash flow. But that's not as a healthy way to increase your cash flow or a sustainable way as it is to increase profitability while keeping inventories the same, right? You can't continue to draw down your inventory level. Otherwise, you'll run out of inventory. You won't have anything left to sell. But if you're keeping your inventory level constant and you increased your cash flow from operations, that tells investors that's a more sustainable increase in cash flow from operations, which is precisely what Amazon did in the last year. Now, cash capital expenditures were 15 billion and 11.3 billion in the third quarter of 2022 and in the third quarter of 2023, and then 43 billion and 35 billion in the 12 months ended. So what you notice here is 15 and 11, 43 and 34, a decreasing amount of capital expenditure, a decreasing amount Amazon spent on capital expenditure. Now, the reason this is a good thing for investors is because Amazon notably and famously overinvested during the pandemic when it experienced an absolute unprecedented surge in consumer demand management didn't really know how to handle that. That was unprecedented. And those, so they said, you know what, if we're going to make a mistake, let's make the mistake of over investing in our capacity and over serving our customers 
and then we'll grow into it in future years. And so that's what they did, but they that was a big hit to cash flow. That was a big hit to cash flow, and investors were concerned that they weren't going to be able to come out of that. So now that they are coming out of that, investors are excited about Amazon because now they've got that investment that they made and now they can decrease their capex and as their revenue and profits grow their cash flow from operations will grow significantly because they don't need to use as much for capital expenditure anymore because they did so much during the early stages of the pandemic and the cash flow that they are going to use is primarily going to reflect investments in technology infrastructure for AWS things like AI services and so and then secondarily in additional capacity to support their fulfillment network so primarily for AWS which is where investors want to see Amazon invest out of its three business segments AWS is the most profitable that's where you want to see Amazon spend more money and that's precisely what we're seeing so so far from an investor perspective amazon is checking all the boxes they're doing nearly everything right so far from an investor perspective of what we've seen so far moreover management expects cash capital expenditures to continue to decrease in 2023 primarily due to lower spending on their fulfillment network that's music to an investor's ears they're going to cut spending they're going to decrease capex spending and they're going to decrease it in the least profitable segment the fulfillment network that's what i was calling for amazon to do is spend more money on aws less money on the fulfillment network that's a recipe for success for amazon and management is prudently doing just that so i have no complaints here from Amazon in their capital allocation decisions and their management decisions, which is rare for me. If you've been watching my videos, I'm usually very skeptical on management and management's desires to spend too much money on expansion, spend too much money imprudently. And so with, with Amazon here, it's the rare case where I'm commending management for a job well done. So now let's look at sales, which increased 13% in the third quarter and 11% in the nine months. The sales growth primarily reflects increased unit sales, primarily driven by third party sales, advertising and subscription services. And that was driven largely by a continued focus on price selection convenience for their customers, including from their shipping offers. Again, this is what I would like to see from Amazon. I want to see them sell more, more units. But I want to see those units come from third party sellers because those units are more profitable for Amazon. Amazon does not need to take the inventory risk of investing in those units. Amazon just takes a fee from third party sellers that use Amazon's platform to reach customers. Further, advertising sales are extremely lucrative and this generates even more profit margin for amazon although they don't break out the specific profit margin in the advertising segment if you look at other advertising companies like alphabet and meta platforms that generate the billions of dollars of ad revenue like amazon does their profit margins are really really lucrative so you can assume that amazon's ad segment is generating profit margins north of 20 percent operating profit margins north of 20 percent and then finally subscription services this is of course the most popular amazon prime that's a segment you really want to see amazon grow because they get those annual membership fees or monthly membership fees from amazon prime members but also the more amazon prime members amazon has the more it attracts third-party sellers which then it gets fees from which then attracts more prime members so this is the core that really boosts Amazon's business. This is the flywheel that really turns Amazon's business. The more Amazon Prime members it has, the more lucrative the overall business model is. So lots of good things to see here from Amazon and you can kind of get, get the story here of why I upgraded Amazon stock to one of my top stocks to buy in 2024. If you like the video you just saw and you wanna see more just like it, please subscribe to the channel. I can't keep this channel free without the support of viewers like you. And if you're already subscribed, thank you and I appreciate your support.